As of May, people with disabilities could once again be paying full price for their bus passes. As part of a one-year pilot program, they've been buying passes at a deep discount. People who use the program say the cheaper bus fares have changed their lives. April Fong reports. One year ago, Laura Stewart's parents paid for her bus pass. Stewart has an intellectual disability, but today she's able to pay for it on her own. And it gives her a new sense of self. Really happy inside. I can get around the city like I do. For people who are part of the Ontario Disability Program, Ottawa reduced the price of bus passes to $28. Many of these people live below the poverty line. Stewart says the project is changing her life. The reason why I don't want it to be counted is because I'm planning to move now in a, in a couple of months. With a new sense of independence, Stewart is not alone. She is part of Live Work Play, a group helping people with intellectual disabilities advocate for themselves. Now, this is a group of people in our community that needs the bus the most of anybody. Uh, they have no other option. And for us, the message to send that uh, we as a community don't care enough about them, that uh, we don't mind if they can't afford to use the bus, it's just sending the wrong message. We're supposed to be a world-class city. The community bus pass means a lot to people here at Live, Work, Play. Now they're taking their plight to City Hall. A report was presented to the City Transit Committee today evaluating the cost and benefits of the program. Along with Live, Work, Play, 29 speakers came to make their case for the program. The committee heard their message. This committee is going to be unanimous in supporting this recommendation. We support persons with disabilities in our community, so not allowing them to speak today. The final decision will come with this year's city budget. I'm here today to speak to you on behalf of 51 people with intellectual disabilities. Now that I know you are supporting the project, program, I just want to say thank you. April Fong, CBC News, Ottawa. Thank you very much.